Hey friends, how's it going? Today I want to do for you a small little fashion show slash montage of all the recent sewing projects I've been doing. A lot of dresses and outfits that I added to upgrade my wardrobe. So without further ado, here it goes. Enjoy. Okay, so this is a recent dress I made. Super cute, very classic style from the 90s, which is all coming back. Tube dress. I used, I think, cotton material for this and added some cute spaghetti straps. Bit of a slit in the back so you can sit down. It's fitted and I also made these seams too to make it extra fitted in the front and the back. I used an invis invisible zipper as well as a hook and eye. So yeah, this is really cute. I'll definitely do a video on how to make this, because I definitely want another dress like this in my wardrobe. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I love it, classic. And you could wear it anywhere, really. Okay, so this is a formal dress I recently made for the last wedding I went to. I love the emerald green color, it's so beautiful. And yeah, so for this dress, it is a strapless, again, very classic 90s style with a left slit. And I also made this dress with lining. So this is like a knit material for the lining, you can see. And I made it so that the two seams for the both fabrics are facing together so you don't see the surging. So it's nice and clean if you were to bring this dress inside out. Again, it has these seams here, so it's nicely fitted. If I were to redo this dress, I probably wouldn't do the straps like this. So I have these cute rhinestone straps. Totally cute, but not very functional. I can't really lift my arms. So if I were to redo this, I'd probably make it more like a strap, a spaghetti strap. Yeah, it would be easier to wear and also give that same cute, give the dress a little bit of bling, which is what I needed. And while making this dress, I also added boating, so you could probably see how stiff it looks on top. So I thought that was a nice finishing touch for this dress to make it look more professional. The boating comes down to about here. So it's really nice to give the top part of the dress some structure. And it looks more professionally done as well. Yeah. So maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure if I would try making this dress again. Maybe, but I do like this classic 90s style look, and even the length is perfect. Yeah. Perfect wedding guest dress. Another coral dress. As you can tell, I love my coral dresses. So I've worn this dress multiple times for like Caribbean vacations. So it's perfect for a vacation or a summer dress. It is a chiffon. You can also wear it, I guess, as a wedding gas dress as well because the chiffon is really lovely. I also lined it because I, I love to line the clothing I make to make it look more professional. And the edge I did like a rolled hem. Also very lovely, very clean. Getting better at those rolled hems. And it's cute crisscross pattern. So I believe this is one of the first patterns I bought at fabric land and it was a little big triangle top piece so I did some darts to make it look more fitted but yeah I would probably do the top part a bit better next time my first time but the skirt is really cute and the back check out the back so the back is like a double crisscross back yeah really lovely so, so super cute for the summer I even have your hair in a bun. I usually wear my, wear my hair in a bun for this dress so you can see this crisscrossing in the back. But that's pretty much, um, yeah, the styling feature. Okay, so this dress is a lace midi dress. I, could get, I guess it could be more on the formal side or you could wear it to work. You have a special meeting, but yeah, if I were to redo this dress, I'll probably use more of a stretch material so it'll be more fitted, easier to sit in. I mean, this one's not too bad. But I do have the seams down the center here to make it more fitted. And I have like the lace, I didn't do any lining, sorry, no lining in the sleeves. So you could see the, the lace on the skin, it's very lovely. 
I like the v-neck I've done as well like most of my pieces I line them so you can see the lining on this one as well this is more of like your classic lining that I used more of that like stiff material blah 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 from fabric clan the roll hem yeah so I'll do a nicer lining if I were to redo this but I do like how I kind of extended the fabric a bit lower and did not extend the linings so that was really nice yeah this is another piece very pretty, very elegant, and we could try making this one again. On a more casual note, I made this t-shirt dress. I'm a huge fan of these shift dresses. I love them because you just throw them on. I even learned how to make them without the zipper. If the, neck, if the neckline is wide enough, you could just literally slip it over your head. Super easy, especially something like this because it is stretch and knit. This material has some cute horses on it, so if you're a horse gal, you definitely like this kind of fabric. Yeah, I made it so there's a bit of a slit on the, slot on the side, and it's rounded on the edge. So really cute for like a t-shirt dress. Be really cute belted. But yeah, of course this one's not lined, but I think it needed to be. Neckline's a bit wider. Yeah, I love this for just running around the house, getting things done, kind of a dress, so super easy to make another super fun party dress so i love this dress so that lilac color is one of my favorites so this is made with a lace a little bit more i guess upscale lace than the turquoise dress i just showed you but it is a halter style and the lining oh even the top has darts two darts on the other side to make it more fitted and the back is backless so super kind of sexy party dress and the straps are yeah, zigzag so I wanted to match the color of the leaf from the lace and these are just ribbons from Fabricland so it's nice ribbon satin material okay, you can see the lace is kind of like a tie-dye color got this from New York somewhere actually this lace material very beautiful and I lined it with lilac to make the lilac pop more. Black material, just like a polyester material. Yeah, I brought down the lace a little bit longer and I wanted it to edge with the pleats there. It's really pretty. And of course, I always do a little bit of a slit on the left side. And it's very elegant and easier to move around in when you do a bit of a slit as so, well. Another fun party dress. Surprise, another lace party dress. So yeah, I love my lace dresses, but this is one of the first dresses I probably ever made. Hence why it doesn't fit me that well anymore. The best is a little big. I think I was, had bigger boobs back then, but yeah, it's cute. Of course I lined it, lined the dress with blue material, a bit darker than the actual lace itself and yeah I was into more of a cutesy style back then which is why there's this giant bow in the back oh my gosh this dress is not meant for a bra either but yeah super cute and again I left the lace pleats or the ruffle the back at the ends the edging at the end of the dress super cute so more like a doll style dress so I don't know if I would ever make this again but Lessons learned. We learn and we get better. Now we're in my mom's sewing room, by the way, which is why there is so many projects going on behind. But yeah, there's always, always many projects going on in this room. It's a busy room. This is where I do most of my sewing. Anyway, so this is a crop top I made a few years ago. I was really into crop tops. Now, I don't really feel super comfortable wearing them, but yeah, this is cute. I use, it was a leftover material, just enough to make a crop top. It's this really pretty chiffon green material, and the straps are these really small ribbons. So I, used, I love using ribbon as straps. And instead of a zipper, the back, I just created loops on either side of the top and did a zigzag with the straps. And you see like a double strap on each side as well. Get a better view of that. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's a cute little top to wear 
with a skirt in the summer. And it's also lined as well in this like navy blue material. This is your classic lining material that I used. It just makes the green pop as, as well. And you don't really have to wear a bra with it. Yeah, pretty. Okay, so this is a super cute top I recently made, or I guess a few years ago, when all you saw on the runways were these elaborate detailed shoulders. So I tried to emulate this and recreate it in this top. So for this top, it's made in this like stretch material. And so I don't need to zipper it, I did a wider neckline. So I literally just slipped this on over my head. And to finish off, so I have these leather scraps I found in my mama's bin. And I did the same thing on the wrist, so on the end there. So to do this really cool design, I'll have to show you one day. But I used my mom's extension. She has a embroidery machine extension to her Singer machine. This is really cool. I did like a stiffener on the shoulder so that it sticks out a little bit. I did this like neon orange. So I thought it would be a really cute contrast on the white and black. And yeah, so this is like a flower pattern that I stitched on the fabric after I pieced together all the pieces of the pattern. And then I finished it off with those cute little flowers. They're like handmade flowers that I did. Um, they're more like for the texture. You can feel them, yeah. They kind of pop out a little bit. Really cute. Kind of goes with my skirt. Yeah, so this is like an asymmetrical collar line. I thought that might be different. I wanted to have this really cool, edgy look to this top. And so that's why I added a bit pieces of leather. This is an emerald green skirt I made. I wanted to add this to my work wardrobe. My killer work wardrobe, so I look awesome at work. <laughs> but yeah, it's really cool fitted. has a slit in the back to make it easier to sit. I have the darts in the back and the darts in the front to make it more fitted. And I had this band that I attached everything to with the zipper on the side. And I also added this little I guess, panel here to cover the zipper and a hook and the eye as well to finish. I always use a hook and an eye at the top of the zippers to hold them together. And of course, this skirt is lined. This is your typical lining that I use. And I did like a typical hem, I think like a one inch hem. Yeah, really pretty with fitted. I can move around a lot in this skirt and it's perfect for work. So next piece, I have this giant vest cardigan I made, I guess a few years ago, and with this just simple, I guess it's more like a synthetic polyester material, but it's, if you lay it out flat, this is actually like a square edge there. So it, when it falls, it creates this like giant lapel look, this big V look. So you can actually wear this vest multiple ways. You could wear it with, whoops, sorry, with a belt, or just open, or you could, if you're into brooches, you could do a brooch on it, or just literally like behind you, like a duster. Also really nice too, like the color I use, it's like this sagey green color. And of course it has pockets, super fun, everyone loves pockets. It's actually really deep pockets, so I could put lots of stuff in there. And I've surged, also surged the edges. Big fan of surging to finish off the pieces nicely. So that's what I did with the pockets. And the ends are a rolled, rolled hem, rolled hem. So because it's all along the front here. It was really important to get that as straight as possible. Yeah, but I think I did an okay job. Really fun piece. You can wear it on pretty much anything you like. Okay, so this cardigan is one of my favorite pieces I have made. It's very, it's called like raw. I love the raw edges. Very edgy look cardigan was what I was going for. So I didn't do anything to the ends. Like I didn't do rolled hem or surging. I wanted it to start fraying a little bit, which it has, to give that really raw edge, fray look, rough look. 
but the material is almost like this chiffon material so it almost feels like a duster just thrown on and it flows very nicely i just love it like on top of anything it almost looks like a blazer like a loose blazer i could wear this to work anywhere a bit more formal cardigan look but yeah so the pattern is pretty much a giant circle you can see laid out flat and then i put there's these two circles in the middle somewhere in the middle of the circle and then i attach these sleeves so the sleeves is actually a different fabric altogether it's more of like this satin material more shiny whereas this kind of um chiffon material is more of a matte look so the two together gets really nice effect and something else i wanted to show you makes this cardigan really special check out the back it says coffee queen and gold i love the black and gold together how fun is that? So to do this, I actually used my mom's serger. So she has a serger extension on her Singer machine. And you could literally type up any name or message you want and digitize it into the laptop, which is connected to the sewing machine. And you just press start and choose your, your embroidery thread and create cool little pattern, any kind of pattern, stitch, image, and it'll go into your fabric. So we'll definitely show you how to do that, but it's super fun. You could be the queen of anything, really. <laughs> did you enjoy my fashion show, Mickey? Yeah, I know you did. Fashion show, fashion show. Well, I hope you enjoyed that mini fashion show. Sewing is a skill I really enjoy doing. I think it's very therapeutic and I love the creativity of sewing and altering patterns to make your own designs. Sewing and design, fashion design, is not a skill I went to school for, but my mom did and she's really good at it. She sews part-time, all doing alterations and making dresses and gowns. So this is where I initially learned. I learned from my mom and I go to her and ask her a lot of questions and how to follow follow patterns and also alter patterns because a lot of the time I don't want to use the exact pattern but I want to alter it to make my own design. So this is definitely a skill I'm getting better at and I enjoy doing it. So if this is something you enjoy seeing or want to learn yourself, hope you continue to watch my videos and we will slowly build our own wardrobe together. So if you like this, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Ciao!